friends, this is Dawn, and this is just a quick video to talk about the upcoming Sunday's Gospel. And this Sunday is going to be the 21st, I believe, of March. And so we're at the fifth Sunday of Lent. We've done five already, which would mean next Sunday will be Palm Sunday. Time just flies. So um, today, uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit, we'll read the scripture, we'll talk a little bit about it, and then that'll be that. So today's gospel um, comes where Jesus is just about to celebrate the Last Supper. Um, and he, before he does that though, he talks to his friends about a few different things, and especially about what was soon going to happen, how he would suffer and die, but that it was for a reason. And so that's the background of how we get to today's gospel. And so the gospel is from the gospel of John, chapters 12, and it begins at verse 23. Jesus said to his disciples, The time has come for me to be glorified. Just as a grain of wheat must die to produce a harvest of many grains, so the Son of God must die so that many can live. Jesus was troubled because he knew the time for him to die was fast approaching. I could ask my Heavenly Father to stop this thing from happening, but it was for this very reason that I have come. This is the Gospel of the Lord. And so let's talk for a few minutes about what this passage was about. It said that Jesus felt troubled, like he was upset or something just didn't feel right inside him. And it was because he knew, he knew that he would soon be betrayed by Judas and then he would suffer and he would die. Now nobody likes to suffer and Jesus knew what was going to happen to him. He probably felt a little afraid, but you know what? He did not try to avoid what was going to happen. Instead, he turned to God, his Father, and prayed for strength and courage. And that's a good lesson for all of us. Sometimes we have to go through hard things in our lives, but we can't run away from them. But what we can do is we can pray and ask God for strength and courage, and he'll help us through it. He'll walk right with us through whatever hard things we have to go through. Now in here, Jesus talks about a grain of wheat. Do you know what that is? Have you ever seen a field in the summertime and it's got lots of wheat in it growing and it sort of almost looks like an ocean with waves in it because there's so many and they blow in the wind? So wheat is a plant that grows up and it has lots of different seeds on the end of it. Each plant makes lots of seeds. And one seed is called a grain. And so Jesus says that um, uh, he's like that grain. One single grain of wheat, when you plant it, it grows and it makes lots of other seeds of grain. So just one, when it you have to plant it in the ground, and when you plant it in the ground, it dies, but it brings forth a new plant. So the seed dies, but a new plant grows. And on that plant is lots of other grains of wheat. What, um, what other things uh, produce seeds like that? What other thing where you plant a seed and you get uh, another fruit that has other seeds in it, maybe like an apple. Have you ever had an apple seed? You saw that? And if you planted that, it would grow. Or a pumpkin, a pumpkin's a good one. Like when you carve a pumpkin, there's lots of seeds inside it. Well, when you plant a pumpkin seed, you plant that little seed like that and it, it grows in the ground and the seed itself dies. But what happens is out of that seed grows a new pumpkin and in that side, that pumpkin is a lot more seeds. And so Jesus is telling us that um, he uses the grain of wheat example to explain what would happen to him. He wanted us to understand that like a seed, 
His death was necessary if there was going to be new life for many. Jesus gave up his life by dying on the cross so that he could have new and everlasting life which we could share with him. And that's what we celebrate at Easter. We're getting really close to Easter. And so let's finish with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, you willingly gave up your life for us so that we could share your everlasting life with you. Thank you for your courage and your love and dying to save all of us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great week.